A major concern in any financial analysis is an assessment of a company's liquidity. Liquidity ratios assess the ability of a company to meet its immediate or short-term financial obligations. Failing to do so can result in additional expenses and ultimately bankruptcy. The following ratios are commonly used to assess a company's liquidity. The current ratio, and we'll go through all of these. The quick ratio, the receivables turnover ratio, and the inventory turnover ratio. This slide presents those four key ratios that are commonly used to assess a company's liquidity. While each ratio reveals information on its own, using the ratios in tandem all together provides a much richer understanding of liquidity because each focuses on some unique aspect of either current assets or current liabilities. So putting the ratios together isn't new. We did this same exercise with profitability because each ratio tells a slightly different story. The current ratio is one of the most frequently used ratios in financial analysis and compares current assets to current liabilities. As such, it compares assets that should be turned into cash within one year to liabilities that should be paid within one year. So a higher ratio indicates greater liquidity. What that also means is that if that current ratio is less than one, then you've got more liabilities than you have assets, and that's a dangerous place to be. So Best Buy has a ratio of 1.21, so it means they've got $1.21 in current assets for every dollar of current liabilities. H.H. Gregg's current ratio, though, is 2.0. So it might seem that it's better than Best Buy's. However, this might prevent the investment of capital in more productive and higher yielding assets. In other words, it looks good that H.H. Gregg has that higher current ratio, but we'd have to dig deeper and make sure that they're not um, mismanaging. It, what I'm, what, the point I'm getting at is that you don't want too much cash lying around. However, I personally wouldn't consider a current ratio of 2.0 as too much cash lying around. Investors typically like a current ratio of about 2. Two any lower than that means that it might be tight to pay bills sometimes, and any higher than that does mean that you might have too much cash lying around. The quick ratio, though, and sometimes it's called the acid test ratio, compares a company's cash and near cash assets, or what we call quick assets, to its current liabilities. Quick assets include cash, short-term investments, and accounts receivable. Since the quick ratio measures the degree to which a company could pay off its current liabilities immediately, a higher quick ratio indicates greater liquidity. So the quick ratio for Best Buy is 0, 0.40. So that indicates that Best Buy could pay 40% of its current liabilities if they came due immediately. So they wouldn't have to sell any inventory. And so this is similar to the prior year and a little bit lower than H.H. Gregg. Now the inventory, whoops, sorry. The receivables turnover ratio, I skipped ahead, compares a company's credit sales during a period to its average accounts receivable balance during that period. A higher turnover ratio means that the company is better able to generate and collect sales, which leads to better liquidity. So Best Buy has a receivables turnover ratio of 23. So that means 23 times a year, all of their invoices have been paid by their customers. Now that doesn't mean that it's at any one time they have no outstanding accounts receivable. It's just a theoretical measure. And this is though much lower than H.H. H. Gregg. And so this might be a concern for Best Buy. Now let's talk about inventory turnover. The inventory turnover ratio compares a company's cost of goods sold during a period to its average inventory balance during that same period. It reveals how many times a company is able to sell its inventory balance in a period. 
a higher ratio is better because it indicates that the company sold more inventory while main maintaining less inventory on hand. So let's take a look at Best Buy. They've got an inventory turnover ratio of 6.6, .6, so it's a little bit lower than last year and H.H. Gregg. So one of the things that you might have noticed about all of these liquidity measures that they were basically turnover measures. And in all four cases, the higher the better. So the um, except maybe with that current and quick ratio, because if it's too high, then we've got cash that we're we've sitting we've got sitting idle that might be better used elsewhere but certainly on the inventory and the receivables turnover we want those to be as high as possible the higher the turnover ratio the higher the liquidity so looking back at Best Buy based on these four ratios it appears that Best Buy is sufficiently liquid most of its current assets are tied up in inventory, so the concern should be focused on increasing receivables.